Okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to cut the lace of this shoulder length bob wig. Um, I'm just holding the lace right now, letting the, the wig sit. Um, and I'm just going to start cutting um, with pinking shears. If you have them, they are the best option for this because they will not let the lace fray as much as um, you would with regular scissors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and brush the hair down or up in this case because we are going up on the wig but down to the ground. So we're going to go down to the ground. This or it's we're going up towards the crown is what we're doing. So we're going to start at the first ear tab area, first ear area where it starts. We're just going to grab it. Let let gravity do the trick. I've learned that this works better. Let gravity kind of do most of the work for you. And you're going to start cutting as close to the hairline as you feel comfortable. You can come back later and do it um, differently. But I usually leave about a quarter of an inch from the hairline. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not cutting that in the... Usually, you see that quarter of an inch in the hairline. Um, she's going to fall to the ground, and that's going to be okay. Just readjust it a little bit so I can cut and continue to... This probably isn't the best. It's the best that works for me. Um... And the fact that it's only a $60 wig is okay. But you want to leave a little bit anyway because it's going to blend into your hairline. It's going to blend into your scalp. You want to kind of leave a little bit of the lace anyway. And about a quarter of an inch, an eighth to a quarter of an inch is all you have to leave. You don't want to leave too much. I do not plan on gluing it. And I'm so sorry if this has not been in the camera the entire time. And she's going to fall. Okay. That's it. Um, I'm going to put her on. Let's see how she looks. <laughs> all right. Now. She's all cut. The lace has been cut on this bob wig. Move my stuff out of the way. Oh, can you see it now? Oh yeah. Some of the hairs, you may cut some of the hairs off. They will may fall with the lace and that is fine. Um, adjust it to where it wants to sit on you. This is what it looks like up close. You can barely see it barely see the lace I may cut more um, but <laughs> again do as much as you feel comfortable with doing and this the lace blends so well sometimes that it's so hard to tell I mean I can't even I did I did not cut bare, I left a lot there and it looks um, looks okay in the camera um, a little bit of hairspray will do this wonders um, keeping that out of the, the face, out of the frame. Um, yes, I'm going to spray it now. <laughs> Just so I can... Ooh. Yes, she is. Wanting to move a lot. But that's normal um, for a side part. Your real hair does that, so... That's absolutely normal. Um, oh, I like it. I do. I really like it. For $60, this is such a cute style. Um, and uh, back when I had bio hair, I really, <laughs> really wanted to have this um, type of hairstyle myself. But I had such curly, frizzy hair that I could not pull this off. 
my barber would do it, I would leave, it would look like this, wash it, never look like this again. It, it was just the way it was. Um, but I really like this. Um, try and get a, a full range on it, what it looks like. Um, again, Amazon Hair Cube Short Bob Brown Wig. I think it only came in brown for the bob. Um, there was different styles and different colors for the hair cube for this one. I'll post the link um, in the comments. Um, but yes, this is um, really good wig for 60 bucks. I like it. <laughs>